These are short ribs. They're bone in beef short ribs. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the rub. So what I have here is one tablespoon of onion and herb dash. So this is the salt free dash. If you haven't seen my videos, this is what it looks like if you wanna pick it up. Then I have one teaspoon of onion powder. I'm gonna put it all in this bowl together. I have one teaspoon of onion powder. And this is smoked paprika. This is one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Get the smoked, it is so delicious, and this is just probably one of the main things that kind of kick it up a notch in flavor. And then I have one teaspoon of chili powder. So it's one teaspoon of everything and just one tablespoon of dash. That's the only difference. With the dash, I'm doing one tablespoon and I put a little bit more of that. And then also, I'm gonna put some pepper in here and I'm just gonna eyeball it because I'm gonna salt and pepper these after I bake them off before I put my barbecue sauce on. So I'm just gonna put a bit of that salt not too much I'm watching my salt you know you do you I'm gonna do me so if you like something you know a little bit more put extra of any herb you want or salt pepper you know do you just adjust it to your liking but these actually combine really well with the beef short ribs and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get my fork just mix it all up I did give my short ribs a rinse and then I did pat them dry with a paper towel Okay, everything looks good enough for me and then I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this on here and just give it a good pat and just you know flip them turn them toss them and get it all over the place everything looks like it's evenly coated get this little bit right here and yeah it's looking a hot mess you could use kitchen gloves if you like but you know what I like to get down and dirty so it is what it is. I'm going to wash my hands and then on to the next step. I'm going to be using Reynolds Kitchen Oven Bags. And this is the turkey size. I would have gotten the roast size. It would have been perfect. But it is what it is. This will do just as well. It's just a bit bigger. It comes with two bags. And you open your bag. Just put it right here. One tablespoon of all-purpose flour, just one, and just kind of sprinkle it in the bottom of the bag on the inside and just sprinkle it around a bit. A half of a large onion sliced, and this is just purple onion. You could use yellow if you like, and I'm going to stick it on top of the flour. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add my ribs. One diced serrano pepper and it's a large one if it wasn't as big as it was i would use two smaller ones and i'm just going to sprinkle them on top cut off the excess material cut a couple slits on the top of the bag Not too many, just whatever it calls for on the directions of the box. I'll do one more right here. Cook according to your meat. And for the beef, this is for the beef rib roast with four small ribs. So this is for the entire roast, the directions on here. So this is just, you know, short ribs. I'm gonna cook these for about 45 minutes to an hour on 350 in my oven and they're going in right now you're going to need some fine green beans you're going to get the fine ones and i'm just going to eyeball it and put them in the pan adding one half cup of water one tablespoon of butter use whatever butter you like one clove of chopped garlic one half of a medium sized purple onion sliced and make sure it's a purple onion because it has a sweeter taste than other onions and it just works really well with this. Some sea salt. Pepper. 
Give everything a toss. Bring it to a boil and let it cook at a high heat for about four to five minutes. And then you're gonna turn it on simmer, cover it, and let it cook for an additional 30 minutes on simmer. When it comes to the sauce, use your favorite barbecue sauce, whatever you like. I'm gonna be using this Primal Kitchen Hawaiian style barbecue sauce. It's really, really good. If you haven't tried it, try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bag. This has the flour in it, in the baking bag, so we don't need all that. So. It's easy cleanup. I'm ready to toss it. Now that we have a nice coat of barbecue sauce on here, we're going to put it back in the oven. It's still on 350. You're going to just let it get nice and hot and then you're done. Simple as that. These have been on simmer for about maybe 30 to 40 minutes, which is okay because we have enough moisture in there. And when it's on simmer, it's kind of going to steam them and it just all works out. Now I'm going to go ahead and add just a bit more butter, not too much. Top it off with a bit of salt, not too much. A bit more pepper. Give them a toss. Simple, delicious, and easy cleanup. It doesn't get no better than that. You're gonna love it, so try it out, and I'll see you in my next video.